This video is about downloading Fabulingua onto your student devices and giving each student access to their individual profile. A quick note, at the end of the video, I do talk about teacher profiles that are very different in nature to student profiles. So if you want to learn about that, make sure you stay till the end of the video. In the meantime, let's talk about the two scenarios in which a student can access their um, personal profile. Number one is going to be when they're using Fabulingua on their school devices at school. And number two is if you want them to use Fabulingua at home on their family devices. So let's start with the first. If you are using Fabulingua at school on a school device, you first want to make sure that Fabulingua has been downloaded onto all of their devices. If you have a small number of students and you're in a small school, you can probably do it manually. Open up the Google Play Store or, Fab or App Store and download Fabulingua onto each device. Um, I'm going to demonstrate, demonstrate how to do that manually in a minute. Um, if you're in a larger school with an IT department, you can call up your IT department and they should be able to help push Fabulingua, the app, onto each one of the student devices. They will use a software or something like Jamf or something like that. Or of course, you can always use Clever as well. Um, and then on your first day uh, that you're introducing Fabulingua, uh, for example, in the Wizards class, uh, all down, Fab, Fabulingua will have been downloaded onto all the children's devices, either on your own manually or through the IT department or Clever. You would then stand at the front of the class and write out this class code on the whiteboard so that when the kids open up Fabulingua, they will tap class code and write this class code in there. It's not case sensitive. Um, now, before I go on to demo that, I do want to talk about how you might invite students to use Fabulingua at home on their family devices. To do that, I would go, for example, here to my Wizards class if I wanted to invite them to use Fabulingua at home, and I would click on Students, and then it's really simple. Um, here are all my students. I would click on Invite Parents. I would copy and paste the parent email addresses into there, and then I would press Send Invites down here. The parents are going to receive, each receive an invitation with a different link. Each one is to adopt their own child's personal profile onto their family account. That way, when the kid works on what you've assigned um, at home, you are going to see the progress they have made on the teacher dashboard. So you're going to be able to verify that they have done that work. So that is at home. Now let's go back. And I want to give you a demo of how to download Fabulingua manually onto your student devices if you've got a small, uh, small school and you can do it manually. And after that, I'm going to show you class codes, how to type in the class code, and then we will talk about teacher profiles. So you find the App Store icon on the device and you find the search section of the App Store, and you type in Fabulingua. Here we are, we find us. We are the icon with the fox right now with the yellow background, it might change in the future. Go to the cloud and download it, and then press open. And here's where you have instructed your children to go, uh, your students to go and press class code. That is the only button they should be pressing. So they go here and then they type in the class code you gave them. The class code is not case sensitive. They can type it in lowercase, uppercase, it doesn't matter, they all work. So I just suggest lowercase, it's easier. So here, just to show you, I've typed it in lowercase and it works. And here we have the whole wizards class with all of the students and so Amy Long would look for herself, find herself here, select herself, and then she would start to play in her Amy Long profile. And she's going to play the active story you have assigned her, which is in location one, one which is why that's the only one that's open now. Um, and a little postscript that I wanted to make for all those teachers that um, might be wanting to use the app on their own device so that they can find out and experience what it's like to play Fabulingua. When you download it onto your personal device, um, you won't want to press class code because you're not part of a class. You will want to press, I already have an account. And there you would use 
the very same credentials, the login, email, and password that you use for your teacher dashboard. Um, and then that will take you into the teacher account, the teacher version. And in that version, all the locations are unlocked, all the stories are unlocked. There is no active story. Everything's available to you to explore. So that's just a little tip if you want to do that.